Hello everyone, today I am returning to my roots and I am doing a full length video. I hope I don't forget how to do these. But anyway, this is for Alberto and Panama. Uh, 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 Panama! <laughs> Alright, since I'm, since I'm being forced to do this video, I'm going to have fun with it. And yeah, you're going to hear my bad singing. But no, Alberto lives in Panama, the country, not Panama City, Florida. He is a lawyer in Panama. He's actually licensed in California, Colorado, and Florida here to present cases as well as the Supreme Court. My website developer Jigsaw lives in Colorado, one of the states he's licensed with, and he's having to come up here to defend Jigsaw because Jigsaw was charged with being too sexy for his shirt. I firmly believe that as soon as the evidence is shown in court, it'll get tossed out. There's no way that dude is too sexy for a shirt. That's right, Jigsaw. I said that. I said that. You want to fight about it, huh? Do you? I'll, I'll clamp this on your... Never mind. <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and begin. Alberto is getting the Oakley 8176 Crosslink Zero in color 03. What is color 03? I guess the matte black. I'm going to take everything out. Of course, you're going to get all the manufacturer's original packaging from Oakley with junk mail that is in there. The Oakley hard shell case. The cleaning cloth slash carrying bag. You don't have to, if you don't want to carry things around in the hard case, you can carry it in this and use it to clean your lenses. If it will ever come out, the star of the show, the main attraction, comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. And I'm going to put that on there when I ship to you. Again, this is, well, if you can even see it, you can't because it's white print on a clear frame. Whose idea was that? But at least it says Crosslink Zero. You can't see that either. White print on a clear frame. But take my word for it. This is the Oakley 80766. Let's try this again. Oakley 8076 Crosslink Zero, size 56, color 03. Now this frame comes, I believe, in a couple sizes. I know it comes in a couple colors. How about if I have a link in the description below that will take you to the website and you can find out how many colors and sizes this frame comes in. Let me begin by popping out the original demo lenses, of which you're going to receive these. Alberto. Put the frame into the tracing emblem. I have to sign a barcode number to this. I haven't done this in forever. Oh, well, on camera. I have to do it for every job I cut. You're a secret agent 4224. I do that so years from now, should you ever need new lenses for this frame, I can mail them right to your home. I'm going to hit the start button. Whoa, hang on, hang on. We got a little crooked. Let me go back. Get everything straightened out here. See how rusty I am? It's all Jigsaw's fault. He's had me so busy, I've had to stop doing full-length videos so I can get everything shipped. Below, stylus is going to pop up, go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left side. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com, where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed with quality. You buy any frame that I offer and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number. So if you have vision insurance and unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase, whether they're prescription or not. Now, I do not take any insurances. But I can, like I said, I can provide to you upon request an itemized receipt that you can file for your out-of-network reimbursement. If you have a health savings account flex card, same thing. You can uh, get the full reimbursement from that. Now that is the shape of the lens I'll be cutting. Let's move on to the next screen. I need to enter the pupillary distance, which is 31 for the right eye. The computer starts at 32.5, so I'm going to tap the button a few times until we get to 31. I want to raise the optical center height up to 20. 20! <laughs> All right, so now I get his lenses prepped. What kind of lenses? He is getting the Zeiss Photofusion Blue lenses, self-tinting lenses with DuraVision Platinum. On top of that, he's getting the 30% Johnny Depp Blue tint on top of the Photofusion Blue. So they're going to be this color blue indoors. And then when he goes outside, they're going to be super blue. So... This lens is a minus 50 sphere, minus 50 sphere. Put the power drum on zero. Make sure everything is centered out perfectly. Okay, we're good. By the way, you're going to see some five-minute videos coming up on all these. Today's going to be National Video Day. So, put it on minus 50. Put it in there. Normally, I'd have to rotate it. That's going to be 
that's what we're doing there that's what we're doing there all right I'm gonna mark this one aura which stands for right and I'm gonna do the same thing now for the left one minus 75 minus 50 at 19 minus 75 minus 50 at 19 take the lens out put the axis wheel on 19 Put the power drum on minus 75, rotate the lens until the spherical component comes into view first, which is the minus 75 component of the prescription. By the way, I'm doing all this on a Marco 101 lensometer, although technically lensometer is a Bosch and Long term. Marco, it's lens meter. The lensometer just flows off the tongue better, doesn't it? Vertometer is by, oh, I forget. Somebody look it up. Leave it in the comment section. Every machine has, it's like Kleenex. They all have their same name. Now I'm going to put an L on there for left. Now the other thing I'm going to do is highlight the packets that he's going to get so he's know he's getting the manufacturer's original packaging. This is the right single vision lens, means he only needs it for distance. Photo Fusion 1.50 Blue DuraVision Platinum Anti Glare with UV Protection minus 50 sphere and you're going to get sunglass level uv protection even in a clear lens we're going to do the same thing for the left eye I'm just going to do a little bit faster and if you guys missed any of that let me recap oh you know you i had to sneak that into one of my full length videos so the reason why i highlight that is so that you know you're getting the manufacturer's original packaging you have your own documentation exactly how things are going um, the 1.50, that is refractive index of the classic CR39 plastic, which actually technically, for all you optician students out there, will say, but wait, isn't CR39 plastic the refractive index 1.498? You would be right, um, but they rounded up to 1.50. I will go over the prices with you of everything that's included, then round it up to the nearest $1,000. We're going to do some rounding today. So, look at this. You haven't seen me do this in a while. This is a block, or as I like to call it, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while they are cutting. I'm going to pull the stickers away. The black side is the sticky side. The first of the second adhesive layers. Put that on the platform. Do the same thing now for the second one. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. That silver button on the back is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice. The first time it's going to attach itself to another magnet in the arm. Now, the reason why these are... 1.50 okay 1.5 1.498 cr39 plastic i normally work in polycarbonate that's my lens material of choice but they cannot put duravision platinum anti-glare on top of a polycarbonate lens that has been pre-tinted such as the 30 percent johnny depp blue that you see here i can do duravision chrome it's just that platinum is the premium anti-glare coating and it needs the the surface tension to be slick as glass and so CR39 is okay I'm not a chemist I don't know why it's okay on plastic and not polycarbonate but that's what the lab tells me so that's what I'm doing so these are going to be plastic lenses but still with all the protection I've entered the pupillary distance I've done the optical center height I just need to put the sticker the adhesive on the lens and actually I can rotate this a little bit better to get it centered being spherical let's just see that's the nice thing about a spherical lens has the same power all over so I'm just going to rotate until I have the most amount of lens to work with all right let's hit that button the arm's going to come down place the block onto the right lens we're going to do the same thing now for the left lens the lens that ain't right pull the sticker away to make the black side sticky line up the magnet Pupillary distance for the left eye is 32, so I'm going to tap the plus button twice. It goes up in half millimeter increments to 32, same optical center height. That does not change. Now, I have more than one dot that tells me where this is oriented. And we are good to go. Hit that button, the arm comes down, places the block onto the left lens. Now, this is the tracer, this is the blocker, this is the edger. This is what's going to do all the work while I run my mouth. It costs forty thousand dollars. It weighs two hundred pounds. I tell everyone buy it, go out, buy your own, put it on your own boat as it passes through the Panama Canal, 
and then you can cut your own lenses and you won't need this guy with the two thumbs and the bad jokes to, to cut them for you. But I need to send all the data from here to here. You can see the last one I cut. Looks an awful lot like, hang on, hang on, hang on. Looks an awful lot like this frame, the Ray-Ban 2180V. I'll, I just might have to do a video for this one next. Okay, you talked me into it. Or at least some point today. I'm going to wake up the computer. Wakey, wakey. Job ID number 4224. 4224. The barcode has been assigned to this ID. These are going to be not polycarbonate, but plastic. If it was high index plastic or Trivex, I would select that. But we're going to stick with plastic. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens. But I am going to place a safety bevel on the rear concave surface of the lens. I'm going to put the, press the sticker on there firmly, place the magnet. Now it's going to do a job a second time. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck. Or, as I like to call it, the Charles. Because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it Chuck. Did I mention free bad jokes with the purchase of every pair of glasses made? All right, so I'm going to hit the green start button. The dirty door closes. Secret Agent 2840 is going to comment on that. 2840 does not like my dirty door. So the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses, making off-white styluses. Styluses used to be known as white. Tracing the shape of the lens now on the second go-round. is measuring the thickness to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which you won't have any with your prescription Alberto in this frame. Now normally, polycarbonate lenses cut dry, but watch this water is spraying onto the lens because plastic, high-index plastic, and Trivex cut wet, meaning that water sprays onto the lens while they are cutting. Now, again, he got the Johnny Depp 30% blue tint on top of the Photofusion Blue with DuraVision Platinum Anti-Glare. And look how fast the plastic cuts. He's just about to go to the bevel wheel. I was supposed to show you all those wheels. See, I'm, I'm a little rusty. It's just double checking itself where to place the bevel. So Jigsaw, by the way, if you want to talk to Jigsaw live, hang on, hang on, hang on. I was supposed to put this up there. This is the number you can call 919-491-2411 and get a hot live apprentice optician slash web developer slash person who told me I had to do this video. So call him up and harass him. And anyone who uh, wants me to do a video, they will be a hundred dollars each going forward until I'm caught up. Okay, I'm just kidding. They won't be a hundred dollars. I'll do them for 99 50. <laughs> I'll give everyone 50 cent off. By the way, my nephew came up to me and he said he he wanted money to go to a 50 cent concert. I said, here's a dollar. Take your brother. Hello? Is this on? Come on. Come on now. Laugh at that. Laugh at that. By the way, my wife is angry about our new neighbor who likes to sunbathe naked in her backyard. Um, my wife's very upset about that. Me? I'm on the fence. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to take this lens out, dry it off. By the way, these are the cutting wheels. That's a diamond crested wheel that brought the material down to its final size. And this is the bevel wheel to put the V-shaped bevel on the lens. So it goes inside the bevel of the frame. So I'm going to dry everything off. And let's see now whether it'll go in. If I have to take it down some more, I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corner. Using my thumbs, press down at the nose. And it snaps right in. Let's do the same thing for the left. Place the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby. Today I'm calling it the Alberto. Hit the green start button. A slightly cleaner door closes. The clamp shuts. The lens will be traced again by the two styluses formerly known as white. They're now known as off-white. Again, make sure the lens is large enough to go into the frame on the first go-around. Then measuring the thickness to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. And now to start cutting. Speaking of edge thickness, look at that, Alberta. You got none. You got nothing. You got nada. And the one thing I should have pointed out, a lot of lenses dry that off, add to my sticker collection. 
That's been growing since the last video. Look how big it's gotten. Look at that, look at that, look at that. I, I like that shape. I like that shape. It's uh, It is a nice shape. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna come down here. So the prescription for the right eye is minus 50. Put it in, actually the black dot is gone. We'll have to put another one there. And we're getting, where's my flashlight? Where is my flashlight? What did I do with it? It's been so long since I've used it. Come here, flashlight. Oh, wait, hang on. Dagnabbit. <laughs> Where is my flashlight? Oh, 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 there it is. There it is. There it is. <sighs> A little dusty back there. We're at minus 50, exactly halfway between 0 and 1 in the red numbers. That's because his prescription is a red minus 50, meaning that his lenses minify, the opposite of magnify. With his glasses off, everything is larger than it appears. So we need two steps of minification to make the object the correct size. Now, his, he has no astigmatism correction in his right eye. His left eye, he needs three steps of farsighted correction. And then he has half a diopter of astigmatism correction. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike or the letters P and F. Think of it as the fine tune knob. The first two numbers are real values to be concerned with. This last number could be anywhere from zero to 180. That's literally where we just fine tune the crispness. And that's what we will do. Now this frame sells for $163 complete with one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses. That's why the lens L is zero, F is 162 for frame. Now here's the conundrum. I don't have tint on the website. It adds $20. The photo fusion blue, look, JJ's already fallen off. He's, uh, he's slacking off on the job. All right, let me press that on there a little better. All right, we're gonna get a jigsaw, make me a new tag with your phone number in it right through there. Um, the Photo Fusion Blue, which is the self-tinting quality of the lens, is 99. The DuraVision Platinum Premium Anti-Glare Coating is 99. It actually has a bluish hue to it. You don't believe me? I'll show you. These are the mirror coatings you can get. But these are the different Zeiss Anti-Glare Coatings. DuraVision Chrome has somewhat of a greenish hue to it. That's the classic Anti-Glare Coating. If you get Photo Fusion Blue, Consider this one. This is called DuraVision Silver. It has a blue silver versus the DuraVision Platinum that is a true blue color on top of your lens. Now, of course, you can also go with the Zeiss Blue Protect. That is a purplish color, lavender, because it blocks light in the ultraviolet spectrum, hence purple, versus the DuraVision Silver. So, the chrome is $69, which I can do on top of a tint. If you're just getting Photo Fusion Blue, you can get the DuraVision Silver, which is $79. The DuraVision Platinum, like Alberto got, is $99, as well as the Blue Protect, which is $99. Now, the reason why they have Blue Protect, Photo Fusion lenses, photochromic lenses, which these are, are the original blue blocking lenses. These actually block more light, more harmful blue light than just a blue light anti-glare coating. But not everyone gets the photo fusion. So that's why if you're only getting a clear lens and you need blue light protection, go with the Zeiss Blue Protect. But these block 30 to 50% of the harmful blue light. This is about, let's just say for the sake of argument, 25. If this were 50% protection and this were 25, for some reason that does not add up to 75% protection. They cancel out some of each other. So it is less than 75. You heard it here, Foist. Okay, what am I looking for? Oh, his frame. Look, I already lost it. Told you I was rusty. All right, so I'm going to tuck this in at the outside corner. Press down with my thumbs. Doesn't want to go in. Let's tuck it in this way first. Might be a little thicker on the nasal area. Press down there. Now it snaps in. We're going to take the block off. Pull the sticker away. Drop that in there, add to my sticker collection while I'm while I'm down here one more time. Okay. <laughs> That's titillating. Hey, you know how to titillate an ocelot? You oscillate its tit a lot. Okay, so where am I? I need a tissue to clean these. But again, I've washed off the pupillary distance. Let me put it back on the right lens first, which is just the minus 50. Let me I'm already on 19, so we're gonna center this. Check the power of the far-sided correction, which is minus 75. 
there we are going away from zero towards one we are one tick mark away from one don't worry we're going to pass that three-fourths of a step three-fourths of a step an additional half adopter which will put us at minus 125 we're going to add minus 75 and minus 50 and that's where we we're going to pass one and do one and a quarter on our way to two now the last step of final inspection by the way i am a licensed optician in, uh, in North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device and North Carolina does not charge tax on medical devices. So that's why I don't have to charge tax. I do have to put a, a PD on here. Am I going to have to put some more ink in there? There we go. So the last, what I'm doing is called final inspection. I'm just making sure that the prescription is made correctly since these are going to a lawyer. He's going to take me to the Supreme Court. But I'm going to turn this around the last steps are to measure the pupillary distance, which 31 for the right eye plus 32 for the left. You can add those two numbers together, you get 150. No, wait, you get 63. I mathed wrong. Man, man, I strove. I have failed math so many times I can't even count. Hello, is this on? Is this on? Feel free to laugh at any of my jokes. So, 63, the optical center is 20. So just like the crosshairs of a scope, I measure vertically and horizontally. Let's measure the horizontal distance of 63. Place the PD stick against my thumb and we measure that we're getting 63. Now the vertical element, not to the bottom of the lens, but to the deepest part of the plastic. Because again, the lens goes halfway into the plastic. We got 20. We have 20, so that is cut perfectly. So the one of the last steps of final inspection well as I clean your lenses let me just mention that again all glasses are tax-free and include free shipping anywhere in the US however Alberto is in Panama so I do international shipping it costs $35 for international orders so I wish I could ship free to Panama but unfortunately I cannot so but the last steps of final inspection is to make sure that these are in what's known as standard alignment. Um, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press, hey, press down. There is no wobble. Now, when I say wobble, when I take mine off and press down, they wobble on the counter because they sit level on me. That's because 80% of people have one ear that's higher than the other. And I'm no different. I'm part of the 80%. So... Alberto, when you get these in the mail, if for any reason these are too loose or too tight or high on one side, just stop by your local optical shop. It only takes about 30 seconds to a minute to adjust a pair of glasses perfectly. But let me put mine on back on so I know what I'm doing. For those of you keeping score at home, I'm wearing the Christian eyewear brand that I designed. This is model number Philippians 413. These come with a polarized magnetic clip-on. Now these come in four colors, black, tortoise, and purple the black and tortoise come with a gray lens it looks like that on the outside the purple frame comes with a brown lens and I went bolder because the wood look um, this is also called dogwood all frames can either come with a silver or a gold cross I went with silver to match my silver uh, wisdom highlights that are coming in above my ears but I went bolder on the wood frame the silver crosses come with a silver mirror the gold crosses come with a gold mirrored lens and if you want to see more of those, you can just go to Christian Eyewear and click on Philippians 4.13, which is the Bible passage that says, I can do all things through God who strengthens me. So let me put this back on. I can, I can do all things that have come up with funnier jokes. So I'm gonna, the other part of final inspection, I'm going to flip it over and press down. JJ, why you keep falling off? Jigsaw, jigsaw. I mean, why you keep falling off on the job? So there is no wobble there. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do, that neither temple is askew. So this is what they look like clear. I'm going to go ahead and expose them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light. Now, as you can see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for the lenses to darken a little bit longer when you come back inside. 45 seconds to a minute, minute 15. Now, this is important because this is August. Everyone pay attention. All photochromic lenses will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable. Nobody or nothing works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. We all work much better when it cools off. Now, there's also the Photofusion Extra Gray. 
Now this blue, the regular Photo Fusion that adds 99, comes in gray, brown, green, and the blue that you see here, this poppin' beautiful, bold blue. Almost like that BMW blue. But there's also the Photo Fusion Extra Gray, which will get darker in hotter weather. It's designed for extra active people who spend extra amounts of time outside. There is no extra active blue. I wish there was. I would be rocking it now because I have the same lenses in mine. The Photo Fusion Blue with DuraVision Platinum, except I have one of the Zeiss Progressive uh, Digital Freeform Progressive lenses because I'm over 40 and I need both distance and magnification to see up close. But as I keep talking, you will see how fast this Generation 8 technology returns back to almost clear. Because again, he has the 30% blue tint. So it's always going to have a residual tint indoors at his request. Which, if anyone else wants a tint after their purchase, just email me. I will send you a separate PayPal invoice for $20. And I literally can do any color tint you want. Red, yellow, orange, purple, green, blue, um, plaid, paisley. No, um, Argyle. No, I can't do those last three. But Zeiss had the Generation 8 technology long before Essilor did. That's why I switched over. This Photo Fusion Blue is the reason, the true reason I switched over because I wanted to try it. And they had it available 10 months before Essilor. And it's a much bolder blue than anything that Essilor produces. Look how fast that it was to turn back to clear. So again, I'll have a link in the description below for anyone who wants the frame. I'll have a link to the self-tinning Zeiss Photo Fusion lenses as well as the DuraVision Platinum anti-glare coating. If you have any questions, go to the Contact Me page of the website. You can also scroll down to when you're on the website, sign up for our email newsletter. We're going to be sending out an, uh, an email once a month and once a month only telling you about any specials or promotions we may be having. You can also leave a question and a comment in the comment section below. But Alberto in Panama, thank you so much for the purchase of the Oakley 8076. What is this called? The Crosslink Zero, the 56 eye size and the satin matte black with your Zeiss Photo Fusion Blue lenses with DuraVision Platinum and the 30% Johnny Depp Blue color to that. So it'll have a little bit of residual blue while you're indoors. And now hopefully... Again, if you want to talk to Jigsaw about your order, call him at 919-491-2411. After every order is complete, Jigsaw will send you an email where you can leave a product review on the website, letting everyone know how you like them. All You're going to get a premium microfiber cleaning cloth with instructions not only how to care for your frame and lenses, but for the cloth that I provide, your Oakley cleaning cloth, the Zeiss cleaning cloth, and your case, so those two will last you for years. I also send out a self-request. So, Alberto, I'd love to have two pictures, one with you indoors with these clear, one with you outside, and Panama showing how blue they get. That'd look really nice. I'm trying to increase my international clientele collection. So, again, thank you so much for watching. Alberto, thank you for your purchase. And now, hopefully, everyone else has gotten a chance to see how I bring that loving feeling back to glasses. Thank you.